expand your ideas, particularly in the areas of aging and immortality, about who you can be. You can revitalize yourselves. There are ancient sciences, as we may call them, on your planet who have spoken of the importance of the breath over and over again. And yet to you it all seems like too much work. What do you all have in common with one another throughout the entire planet? You all that need to breathe. Is that not so? And what is it this oxygen does to your system? It regenerates it. It activates what is going on inside. In this time of energy acceleration it would behoove each and every one of you to add more oxygen to your being. There are many ways to do this. The most simplistic is to become consciously aware of your breath. Through the breath you can do many things. You can activate the crystalline structures or deactivate the crystalline structures. You can activate your own self. You can clear energy that is coming between two beings purely by inhaling and releasing. You can bring about a state of great calmness. You can bring about a state of altered consciousness. You can bring about a state of healing. You can bring about, eventually, a state of teleportation and bilocation and dematerialization. This is all something that you are working towards. The second part of our discussion is about being in preparation and what it is to have contact. Contact has existed on your planet from the very beginning. There have been those that have come down and it has been their life journey to sojourn on your planet and to teach cultures. There are those who are even on this day sequestered away within the deep catacombs, as you would call them, the deep underground tunnels and monasteries of your ancient Tibetan area that house the bodies of those who are kept in what you would call perpetuity so that they can be reminded of the star teachers who have given so much to this planet. Whenever mankind has made a leap forward that leap has come because mankind has been guided and because mankind asked for assistance. Much information is transferred to your planet in a variety of ways. Each and every one of you is on the verge of having great volumes of information come through to you. It is up to you whether you are going to believe this. It is up to you whether you are going to call out and ask for a teacher and ask for the assistant that you are needing in this moment to bring about your life's work and fulfillment. You are all here for really important reasons. Eventually you each are going to be coming into contact. That may occur in a variety of ways. You have heard us say over and over again that there are many dimensions of experience. Each dimension of experience has its own validity. As third dimensional man who would call real only one portion of its existence, when everything you perceive and everything you feel is real. Prepare yourselves and wait in each and every moment for more information, for a gentle love to come through and relinquish your fear. You may think it is easy for us to say to relinquish your fears. It is easy to say. Your fears have to do with the multitudinous buildup that has come from your childhood. What your ideas of the unknown may be, what your ideas of safety may be and what is in store for you. At first, you may be startled when one comes into your presence and resonates four or five feet off the ground and gives you teachings for an hour or two. Yet, if that is your experience, you have called it to yourself. This year you would find that each month, each one of your moons, will multiply itself exponentially prior to the month that you have just experienced. So whatever it was that you have experienced in your month that has just passed, you will find that it will double itself in the next month. It will continue to build. You are creating for yourselves a massive acceleration because you are each calling it to yourself. You had best, if you wish to take our advice, keep yourself in balance and by all means, clearly call out through prayer or through intention whichever feels more correct to you, call out to what you are desiring to manifest and utilize the great gifts that are coming your way. You each have selected yourselves and you each have placed yourself in an opportunity to grow beyond your wildest dreams. We are here as always to assist. We encourage you and we say to you that there is a pathway of joy and glory that lies in front of you and it is all that you need to know. Move yourself towards this. Question. Will we begin eating a lighter and lighter diet as we learn to rejuvenate ourselves and learn to take more energy out of the ethers and less out of our physical surroundings? Pleiadians, you've got it. For those of you who like food, it is not that you need to let it go. 
it is not that it is going to be a great sacrifice. It is that you will find that there are alternative ways of being and you will find that those habits that you had you are no longer in desire of participating within. You will find, many of you, that as you begin to oxygenate the system more, that you would bring about a greater state of energy and that as you begin to bring about this greater state of energy you will find that it is not necessarily coming from the food source, that it is coming from light, that it is coming from meditation, it is coming from being aligned with your thoughts and the changing of your beliefs and that the body does not have to be based on what your nutritionists say you need to have to keep alive. Question, what would be the first step we should take in this rejuvenation process? Pleiadians oxygenation. Oxygenation flushes out what is unnecessary and keeps the body full of light. Breathing is the main thing. There are additives that are also oxygenators. There are many assistants to bring about oxygenation, that you can buy. The breath has not been focused on enough. All of these other things certainly assist you but breathing is your key. Whatever it is that you are going to add to your lives, utilize the great process of breathing. Each man on your planet has been given all that is needed to come to a completion. It is you, yourselves, who go about inventing things to assist this and there is nothing wrong with this. We applaud your creativity. But you, yourselves, each have the ability and your breathing is one of your greatest tools. There are many techniques. There are many journeys that can be taken by utilization of the breath alone. Utilizing the breath and the oxygenation process in conjunction with taking substances that have oxygen within them, particularly if you participate in foods that are rich in oxygen, you are enhancing a lightness of being. You are activating an energy form that brings about greater states of awareness. Question, you began the evening talking about contact. I feel that I have been contacted but I'm not sure whether it was real or not. Pleiadians. What do you think we're going to say that you were imagining it? What have we been speaking to you about imagination? What have we been speaking to you about the various realms of experience? They are legitimate. You had your wits about you and you were told at that moment to receive. Many of you are surrounded on a continual basis. It is up to you to have your wits to receive. Some of you will begin to feel pressure on your body, to feel pressure on your skin. There will be slight hintings. There will be feelings around you in the atmosphere that the air has changed. There will be a difference in the light molecular structure in front of you. This is all a portion of a variety of energies that are attempting to communicate with you. More than, the fact that, these entities are attempting to communicate with you is that you, yourself, have broken down your barriers as to your definitions of what you think is possible. You are moving more steadfastly into what you would call fourth dimensional experience which allows you to be feelers and not thinkers. Question, what about our fears of contact? Pleiadians, there are very few existing on the planet at this time who are fearless. So, first of all, relinquish any judgment you may have of yourself or of others who are facing their fears. One of the best ways to overcome fear is to acknowledge it. Where you trick yourselves and you try to pretend that you are not afraid, you hold on and you hide deep inside of your being this intimate feeling that you will not admit because you think it is a weakness. When you lay it out in front of you and you say, I am afraid, you are willing the issue to a head and you are asking that you understand this fear and you are asking for assistance in this area. When you have fear, particularly of contact, you are fearing that there is going to be the unknown. The X factor that is going to come in and affect you in a way that you will feel out of control with. We have been saying that your world is a result of your thought manifestation. This idea works in all of the realms of experience. Your intention about the kind of experience you wish to have can literally change in the moment. If ever you are finding, whether it be in third, fourth or fifth dimensional experience, that you are drawing to yourself something less than what you are choosing then you must learn to believe that you can vanquish that in an instant whether it be a dream or one who would come to literally attack you. Your powers are such. Your thoughts will send out a wall of protection and you can use a thrust of energy that will stop whatever is coming your way. When you are feeling a fear and if you wish to stop the experience and you are not prepared for it, 
state this and put up around yourself a shield of light and know that that shield of light is as real as any wall that you would build with cinder blocks. This is what you are teaching yourselves, that your thoughts form your world. The large majority of you will not be in need of protection because you have the ability to understand that you would draw to yourself the highest of light energy. If you are desiring contact, ask that the contact come in a time when you are safe, when you are comfortable, that you not be startled. Define how you wish contact. If you are going about saying, I want contact. I want contact, what are you going to get? If you want contact in a certain condition in certain parameters of experience, state this. I would like to have. And define in the affirmative how you would be designing your experience. I would enjoy contact with one who would approach me with love and that I immediately sense this and that I immediately move into a state of receptivity. I, want to be, contacted by one whose physical visage and vibration is something that I am comfortable with. It is up to you to design how adventurous you wish your experiences. There will be a time when you will be gathering so many experiences that we will be pushed to the background waiting our turn to come in. There are many, many contacts going on on the planet at this time. Your universe is teeming with life. Just because one has certain abilities does not necessarily mean that they are of the highest intentions. When you are bringing an understanding of teaching into your life and energies from the outside, whether they be extraterrestrial or whatever fashion or form the higher energies come to you, discernment is most important. The way you discern is by the feeling in the center portion of your body. How is it that you feel? Are you feeling in comfort? Are you feeling uplifted? What is the message that is being given? Are you being pointed to your own abilities or are you being asked to do something that does not feel comfortable to you? All of these are keys. Most definitely on your planet you are going to be experiencing great confusion because it is all going to break loose very shortly. All that has been covered up, all that has been kept from you is going to come out in this decade and you are all going to have the opportunity to find tune discernment and to align yourself with energies human and otherwise that will afford opportunities for your growth. It is you that, through your intention, will decide how that growth will be. Most of, the beings coming from the skies at this time are those to enhance the spiritual understanding of mankind. Mankind will learn to resonate with his own beauty and great desire to become one with the higher realms. Do not call those who come from the sky aliens. Realize that we are your ancient heritage.